says more homes are out of harm's way. That means many southern Colorado homeowners may not have to pay for flood insurance. But it's not good news for everyone. Carrio News Channel 13's Emily Allen spoke to people who will now have to pay a hefty price to protect their homes. Emily. James and Heather, we're actually in the back of the Cardio parking lot. Now, this used to be in the floodplain. We're pretty close to Fountain Creek, but according to this new map, this area is not in the floodplain anymore. And tonight, homeowners are getting a chance to look at that map and see how they're impacted. After years of heavy rain, flooding, and then cleanup, Gary Wright was expecting this news. But your shop is, is in the zone A, so it is in the floodplain. Wright says when he built his shop in Falcon, it was safe, but construction upstream is wreaking havoc on his property downstream. And now his shop is at risk. There's nobody being held accountable upstream from us for what they're doing to everyone downstream. Now he'll have to pay extra cash for flood insurance. His neighbors also came to get an update from FEMA. Flooding hit their property this summer, but they're grateful their home isn't in the floodplain. We don't have the money for it. We're both working. He's working four jobs, and we're just making ends meet, just trying to survive. So it's like we can't afford these extra payments. You take all that time and you add it up, and it's about 15 to 18 months. Matt Buddy with FEMA helped to update the map. He says the new map takes more people out of the floodplain. But it doesn't take into account those at risk from the Waldo Canyon or Black Forest burn scars. That's just not something that, that's part of our mapping procedures. Um, you know, there, there is kind of a limited period, uh, you know, I think we say like seven to ten years where you have an increase in flood risk um, from, from a burn scar area. We, we don't take that into account when we do floodplain mapping. So while for some, the headache is over. For people like Wright, it's only just beginning. If you're interested in checking out this map, head over to KRDO.com. We've included a link under our hot button. In Colorado Springs, Emily Allen, KRDO, News Channel 13.